In this video, we present novel interaction and feedback mechanisms that facilitate smooth and simple exploration and analysis of large datasets using parallel coordinates plots. We propose the next stage in brushing techniques to enhance data exploration and pattern discovery. Additionally, we demonstrate a number of complementary features that integrate with parallel coordinates plots, producing a powerful environment for large-scale, n-dimensional analysis. We briefly summarise current state-of-the-art brushing techniques. The simplest form of brushing involves direct probing of individual points. We define this as zero-order brushing, as interaction is based on a single point. The area and lasso brush also directly interact with the data, but feature two click points. We define this as first-order brushing. Direct axis brushing techniques also involve two click points with one connecting edge. Combinations of these can be applied using logical AND and OR operators, resulting in composite first-order brushing. Angular brushing involves three points and two edges, which we define as second-order brushing. Throughout this paper, we use a real-world call center dataset provided by our industry partner to demonstrate the proposed features. This dataset contains records of hundreds of thousands of customer calls from the contact center of a large internet service provider. The dimensions of this dataset detail the start time and end time of the call, the durations that the caller spent at each stage of the call, state counts enumerating how many times the caller entered new states, and then scoring metrics such as cost, customer feedback, or derived customer effort. The objective of this software is to explore and identify previously unseen trends in the data, as well as provide our industry partner a useful tool in selecting subsets of the data. We propose a technique that enables n-dimensional pattern discovery through the placement of higher order brushes. The higher order brush is created through a sketch-based interaction, where a series of click points on selected axes define a template pattern polyline. Each click point is given a default interval range boundary, which can be adjusted by the user. This method enables quick, pattern-focused analysis, enhancing the explorative ability of the user. The user can place brush points in any order they wish, and can skip axes they do not want to filter. The complete higher order pattern brush can be translated in all directions, even across axes, whilst maintaining the exact pattern structure. Individual nodes of the brush can also be moved. These features can be used, for example, in the quick selection of abandoned calls, placing brushes during the daytime, filtering out of hours callers, and then applying a brush to callers who spent time in the queue. Finally, we apply a brush to the agent duration axis, whereby the caller spoke to the agent for such a small amount of time that this would be considered an abandoned call. Remaining in focus are calls that invested time and effort into contacting the company, but abandoned the call before speaking to an agent for a meaningful period. If we pin the agent duration brush in place, we can translate the sketch brush vertically to explore how this brush pattern changes across the axis. Horizontal brushing can identify outlying calls by selecting one dimension to brush away from the trend and other dimensions to brush along the trend line. The data here is clustered towards zero along the bottom of each axis. Here, we pin the time frame brushes in place and place a brush in the middle ranges of the total duration axis. The other two brushes are placed in the lower ranges of the IVR and Q axis. Translating this brush horizontally reveals outlying calls in each data dimension. The use of logical OR operators enables two or more higher order brushes to be placed across axes. Polylines can pass through either of the brushes whilst remaining in focus. An additional user option uses the two higher order brushes to define the upper and lower bounds of a new brush filter. Utilising the mouse over priority rendering feature, we can explore how the data travelling through each of these brushes distributes throughout the rest of the parallel coordinates plot. Notice how no polyline that passes through an upper range brush passes through any other upper range brush. Here we can see a comparison of the higher order brushing software and the popular parallel coordinate software XMDV tool. As you can see, the higher order brushing interaction is significantly quicker than traditional XMDV software. Translation of the complete brush is also not possible with XMDV and so does not support exploration of higher order patterns. Previously, brushes have been placed with no guidance, resulting in blind estimation of potential patterns. We propose a feedback system that visually reports metadata to the user in real time, providing the user with guidance during the interaction and brushing definition. The brush interval range glyph is created at each mouse click position. Each side of the glyph shows an angular histogram where both the length and colour of the bar depicts the proportion of polylines intersecting the axis within the range of each bar, and the angle of the bar represents the average angle of those polylines. Both the polylines in focus and out of focus are used in the calculation. 
This metadata encoded in the glyph informs the user of polyline trends surrounding each click point. When the brush points are moved, the, the glyph dynamically updates as the position changes. During the brushing process, the user can hover the mouse over an axis where the connecting brush polyline changes its colour and thickness depending on how densely populated that region of the axis is. Additionally, two arrow glyphs show the proportion of polyline intersections above and below that point. The interval range is also displayed and can be changed through a mouse wheel scroll. These features provide guidance during the interaction and enables users to fully comprehend the scale of data and distribution along the axis. We implement an axis scaling feature that enables users to change the upper and lower range values for an axis. Polylines that are out of range are rendered as context. The user can apply an axis scale through a click and drag interaction, or through a user option where a single brush placement scales the axis. Here you can see the animation signalling that the axis has been scaled. Hieroglyphs at the edge of the scaled axes represent the proportion of data above and below the new axis range. When polylines are drawn as context out of range, the newly scaled trajectories are calculated and drawn off-screen, giving the user some perspective as to how much data has been filtered. The data distribution is also drawn on the axis and is updated with each axis scale. We implement an autocomplete feature that automatically applies brushes or axis scales based on statistical measures. The user can apply a brush around the mean polyline position of an axis with a user specified range or using a standard deviation as the range modifier, or the user can apply these brushes around the most densely clustered segments of the axis. A user option enables these metrics to be rendered on top of the plot. Here you can see the mean line rendered where tick marks note the standard deviation of data on each axis. The user may select the axes they wish to apply the automatic brushes to and then select the, the statistical measure they want to apply. This feature enables both automatic axis scaling and automatic brush placements. Here you can see an automatic scale applied to the parallel coordinates plot. The animation illustrates which axes have been scaled. The labels automatically update to show their new values. Now we automatically apply brushes to the plot, revealing all polylines within two standard deviations of the mean. A powerful feature we implement produces the ability to prioritise the rendering based on an individual axis value. The drawing order is sorted so that polylines closest to the selected point are drawn last. This helps the user explore very dense datasets that may hide trends due to overplotting. In the paper we provide a full case study using our call centre dataset. Here we briefly discuss the observations made using the features of the software. Upon loading the call centre data into the software, applying call duration metrics and customer scoring metrics to the axes, we immediately see a dense set of polylines midway up the wait time axis. In this dataset, each polyline represents one call. If we click on this cluster of calls, applying the brush, we can see that through the brush glyph that overwhelmingly many of these calls have a very low agent duration and hold duration, but more interestingly, they appear to originate from a small time frame on that start time axis. If we apply the higher order brush to each clustered group of calls in the plot, we can remove the noise and just observe this trend in data. To evaluate these features, we conducted a multi-stage feedback process with the data provider QPC. We presented them the software features, and then they tested the software for themselves. We then collected feedback on the utility of the features. The initial feedback session was focused on improvements and useful features that could be added. The subsequent sessions analysed the software features and interactions. During the feedback session, we discovered an unusual group of calls that the domain experts had never seen before. Here is an extract of that discussion. Guessing, you think it could be like a different type of message. If you pause it, you probably know what the data. But it's the whole point. I mean, this is exactly what yeah. it's helping us to do. So yeah, yeah it looks strange. What, what's the reason yeah. for yeah. Mm -hmm. it? I don't know the answer, but it's in this job already. That, that's, it's interesting. Because I'm thinking, is it out of hours? In conclusion, we present novel interactive brushing methods with the parallel coordinates plot, as well as an automated feedback process that enhances the user's ability to explore and analyse the data. We collect domain expert feedback to attest the utility of these software components and provide real-world examples of these features in use.